Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Precious Bernice and welcome back to another vlog. So, in this vlog, we're going to be prepping for Christmas. I'm the one basically cooking all the Christmas food and stuff. So, I have to go grocery shopping. It's um Friday the 23rd and it's almost 12 p.m. So, I'm about to head to the store and I know it's going to be crazy like it's going to be packed. So I just want to go and get everything done. I'm going to go um, buy um, some Christmas presents for like the people in my house. And yeah, about to go grocery shopping right now. I'm just, I'm not looking forward to it. It's going to be insane. Hopefully I can just be in and out like really quickly. But yeah, you guys are going to come with me while I prep for Christmas. And I think I might vlog until Christmas day, but I'm not sure. But I think I should, like, I'm going to vlog, like, doing, like, cooking and stuff. But, yeah. Let's go shopping. Every day's a bit more hopeless. When I wrote this, I was all alone just thinking about the bones in the ocean. Salt water in my forefathers' blood makes nothing to a hell of a potion That I saw in the eyes of my mother when she brought me in the world so corrupt, so broken It can never be repaired, she was hoping that a little black boy I could find a way to navigate through all the noise and the madness In a vast land that I'll never be content with my blackness She just wanted to protect me There's moments like these that show me that the strong black women are a blessing So selfless when they're the ones that could use some protecting I've seen consistent support from my melanin sisters They ready for war with their quickness As soon as some shit popping off us with no hesitation They'll step up to form a resistance and hold it down So who am I to feel upset about our lack of freedom When really it's queens that'll step up and lead us to justice And serve the police who have fired at everyone with some color But eternally we don't check each other When we talk down on the women that's lifting us up The system is killing our brothers and sisters But when it's the latter, no one gives a fuck Breonna Taylor was the first Sandra Bland was a maybe People still mess with Tory Lanez Lame ass even after what he did to Megan Ain't no Kings here, men are trash for a reason. Look at the stats, right for women, no convenience. Really believe them, look for additional facts. Damn, support is conditional. This is an issue. How can we support all our black? It's the next day, and I'm about to head out to go buy a few more things. Well, oh, please don't. <laughs> but anyway, guys, this is the fit. It's just Crocs and sweatpants. So, I'm about to head out. Okay guys, I'm back home from buying all the stuff. I'm gonna start preparing food stuff for tomorrow. So I'm gonna blend the peppers and the tomatoes and stuff for the jello fries and cook it down. So that saves me like all hour or two for tomorrow. So that's what I'm about to do. 
So, I saw this girl. I saw a video of this girl like putting, roasting her bell peppers, onions, tomatoes, and garlic before blending it. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's like supposed to give it like a, a smoky flavor. So that's what I'm gonna do. I usually just blend it, but I want it to. I want to see if it's gonna work, like a party jollof type of vibe. I'm making my first. drizzle a little oil on it that should be good and then I'm gonna put in the oven oh. put in the oven for like I'm gonna keep checking on it but like five ten minutes I guess oh that's in the oven I'm gonna start um mixing the seasoning for my turkey and Clean it up because gotta clean as you go, but yeah. Anyway, like I was saying, I got these twisted shorts and then I got these vodka gimlets these these little things have 25 percent in them also for tonight and i've been hearing about the negroni so i decided to get this little sa um, sachet to try hopefully it's good and then i've tried the cosmopolitan and the margarita in the on the rocks drink so i got the mai tai one i love a good mai tai and then and i got a manhattan one and i also picked up this red wine it's italian i think it's i don't know i'm not even gonna try to say the name but this is what it looks like i want to try it i'll tell you guys how it tastes tomorrow and it's 13.5 alcohol and then i also picked up this um los cabos um tequila it's for my um it's for the slushy drink i'm making tomorrow so it's basically tequila, triple sec, cranberry juice, and lime juice. And then you like blend it and it's like a slushy and it looks really good and tastes good too. And then I picked up this Flybird passion fruit margarita. And I got white wine, a Pinot Grigio. This is the cupcake one. So it looks like I've been seeing it around, but I never tasted it before. How many percent does this have? I can't see. I don't see how many percent alcohol this has. Oh, 12.5 alcohol. And then I picked up the On The Rocks Cosmopolitan because it was that good. Um, should I try the Negroni while I'm here? No, let me try the Negroni. It's 22%. How to make a perfect Negroni. Serve chill or with ice in an old fashioned glass or garnish and garnish with half an orange slice. Well, should I do all that? I don't know. I think I'll just put it in a cup. I got some ice. I'm gonna shake. And then I'm gonna look it open right here.
Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Oh my god. What the fuck? What the fuck is that? So basically in this bowl I have butter, parsley, fresh parsley, garlic, black pepper, a bit of salt, and what else? Italian seasoning. And this is gonna go all over the body of the the turkey. So I need guys I hate raw meat honestly. I'm gonna wash my hands again. And then I need to stretch out the skin. I should wear gloves, but if this is too much for you, you can skip. Honestly, you take a, a some mm, stuff it in there. Oh, this is nasty, bro. Spread <laughs> you guys the trouble of watching me do that. So I put that all over it. Chicken is still looking very much white. Um, turkey. So I'm gonna season. I showed you guys my seasoning earlier. But I have garlic powder, onion powder, a bit of curry, some Ghana pepper, chili pepper, paprika, and bouillon cubes crushed up in this bowl, in this plate. So I'm gonna mix all of that together now. gonna mix it all together oh i wish you guys could see this oh, anyway. so. okay so it's all mixed up some people just put it on dry like that like just put it on it but i think i'm gonna add a little oil to it i'm not sure let me see yeah i added oil to mine because i just wanted to stick better to the meat so guys, I'm gonna use the injector to inject some of this um, Creole style butter into the turkey so the inside is like moist and like still flavorful. So I'm just gonna take some of this in here. It's gonna look like this. And then I'm just gonna inject the turkey. Stab. Stab. Release. So I'm done seasoning the turkey and now I'm gonna stuff it. I have rosemary, thyme, bell peppers, lemon, onions, and a whole garlic thingy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stuff the turkey and then it's gonna sit in the fridge until tomorrow. So I'm using a, uh, a mix of the red onions and the white one. Okay, push this in there. So after everything, the key is to put the turkey into this bag this just helps all the flavors stay inside and it keeps the turkey moist while it's inside the oven so I'm just gonna open this and i'm just gonna use one so i just added a bit of cornstarch in the bag i'm supposed to use flour but i don't have any so the bag i'm adding some carrots some onions if it's like freaking bad Bit of rosemary and thyme. Okay. Oh, this is this is what guy gimme. Thank you. Gimme. So now everything is in the bag and the bag is secured real tight. And now this is gonna go in the fridge until 
tomorrow yeah. in the morning when I pop this in the oven. The tomato is also done. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge and it's all set and ready to be cooked tomorrow. And I'm just gonna clean up because, yeah, look at the mess I just made. <laughs> yeah. Clean up time. Oh, let me show you guys quickly the meat pies that I picked up. Salt water in my forefathers' blood makes nothing to a hell of a potion. That I saw in the eyes of my mother when she brought me in the world so corrupt, so broken. It can never be repaired. She was hoping that a little black boy could find a way to navigate through all the noise and the madness in the vast land that I never be content with my blackness. She just wanted to protect me. There's moments like these that show me that the strong black women are a blessing. So selfless when they're the ones that could use some protecting. I've seen consistent support from my melanin sisters They ready for war at the quickness As soon as some shit popping off us with no hesitation They'll step up to form a resistance and hold it down So who am I to feel upset about our lack of freedom When really it's queens that'll step up and lead us to justice And serve the police who have fired at everyone with some color But eternally we don't check each other When we talk down on the women that's lifting us up The system is killing our brothers and sisters But when it's the latter, no one gives a fuck Breonna Taylor was the first Sandra Bland was a maybe People still mess with Tory Lanez Lame ass even after what he did to Megan Ain't no Kings here. Man, Merry Christmas, guys. I just finished cooking all this stuff. You already know because I'm a chef. Look, these people can't let me record a bloody video. Say hi to the vlog. Oh, hi. I <laughs> this is Bliss. Then you said she didn't fuck you today. No. <laughs> like no, it's just like the the stupidity behind it, bro. Like surely just wasted my time for no reason. Okay. Yeah. And then she now comes and still gets food. And put a pad on that. So yeah. You said I didn't get no pussy, but you got turkey. Well, shit, I got all these hoes lining up and that shit. Oh, you guys did. It came home, piped it down, went to a party, came home again, then piped it down. Mm. Proud of you. I want to explore a 12 inch dick. If someone can just direct that kind of person to me, I want to.